Hi everyone, uh, we are Team Bookworms and we are super excited to be with every one of you here today. And before we go into what we have been up to for these past few months, we would like to start off with introducing ourselves. So, my name is Fanny, I'm originally from Larshaping, I'm currently doing my Masters in Globalization, Environment and Social Change here at SU University and also working as an urban planning guide for the municipality. Hi, I'm Laurel. I'm a PhD in environmental medicine from Harlem Sky Institute. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm an international exchange student from Germany where I study international business in my master's. Hi, I'm Maha. I'm originally from Finland. I have a master in family projection from the master's university and I have uh, I studied journalism at Soda Vetterbunner for British Finland University. Hi, I'm Linus. I uh, have a master's degree in psychology. I'm from Umeå, Sweden, and I've also studied environmental science. Yeah, and I'm Pia. I'm also from Germany, um, but the north, and I studied in Germany uh, biology, and now I'm in my master here at Stockholm University in molecular life. And hi, I'm Catalina. I'm originally from Chile. I live here in Sweden, and I'm an industrial designer. Hi, I'm Edwin, and I'm from Sweden, Stockholm, and a master's, uh, I am a master's student in human geography. Yes, so if you back up to when we started this course, we were presented with a challenge from Chista Library regarding how to draw you to the library, or more specifically so, teenagers, since it's a group that tend to be visit the library less frequently than other user groups, and also combined with the fact that they are kind of hard to reach out to in general. And this is actually a common problem or challenge for many libraries. So it's not unique only to Shista. And furthermore, for those of you who are not really familiar with the area of Shista, to give you some context, it can be seen as one of many million programs here in Sweden and consists of a vibrant and multicultural community, but it's also heavily segregated. And therefore the library can be seen as an important place to integrate people into the Swedish society. And it also has a strategic location since it's located in the center of Shista in the Galleria. And also in Sweden, the library law states that children and youth are a prioritized group. However, as we come to see, they tend to visit the library, for example, far less frequently. And therefore, it's something that we need to acknowledge and focus more on. So with this background information, we went ahead and started to gain more information to see what the actual problems lies in, which I'll leave over to Edwin to tell you guys more about. Perfect. So yeah, we did interviews at first. So the target group, for example, teenagers, or no, teenagers. So we interviewed them in schools, uh, at youth centers, in Shista Library, as well as in Shista Galleria. We also thought that adults would uh, have great knowledge about the needs and interests of the youth. So we decided to uh, interview uh, staff at the youth center, as well as several librarians. We also did observations and one uh, example would be in the Galleria to see where they normally hang out and how they are. And we uh, broke this down, like the data that we collected into different insights and um, also pain points. And those are lacking collaboration between all these th different stakeholders in society. Um, the second one would be activities. Uh, maybe the activities need to be uh, changed. The third one would be the mental or physical space. Maybe the teens just don't feel welcome or that they belong in the youth section at the library. The fourth one would be a lack of communication. Maybe the teenagers just don't, they're not aware of what the library can offer them. And the fifth one would be problems maybe with the indoor organization. Maybe the librarians just simply don't have enough time or resources to work more directly to, with uh, teenagers. Uh, and I'm leaving it over to Maha. Yeah, so we made the persona as a way to confirm 
the necessity of solving the existence problem in the library, and we have met three personas. Our first persona is Lara, the, teenager, the 17 year teenager. She used she study in her uh, she study in her second year of gymnasium. Lara represents the teenagers who is regularly visiting the library to study only to study, and um, and. She thus needs a suitable and comfortable place to study after school to do both her homework and group, group work with the classmates. Currently, she didn't get any information about the library who offers for teenagers for activities, as example, uh, book circle or uh, theater. Our second persona is Katerina. Katerina is uh, 35 years old. She works as a li librarian and she, her role is um, of youth librarian, Katerina is ha, have quite heavy workload and has struggled finding the time to work with teenagers. She needs more time to engage with the youth and build a more personal relationship with them. And uh, this way creates a better atmosphere for teenagers at Shista Library so they feel welcome. Our last persona is Abbe, a 14 year old boy from Shista who is currently in the ninth grade Abbe can be seen as a representation of the teenagers who are currently not regularly visiting the library. He is generally uninformed about the libraries over for teenagers and has outdated perception of the library. He needs library to be a place where he can feel welcome and better see his needs and interests. We will now move to Pia, who will talk about redefining the challenge. Yes, so while we started with the challenge here, we realized that our uh, old phrasing of the challenge, like how to draw the youth to the library, may be a little bit too vague and not entirely capture the underlying problem and the challenge we want to initiate. So, but to understand our new point of view, you have to um, understand the difference between what people think a library offers and what it really is. So we realized that um, we need to change the teen's perspective of a library because when we asked teenagers, most of the times the honest answer was like, isn't the library like a boring place for old people <laughs> where the only thing you can do is uh, reading a book? And this is exactly a problem because that's not true. Because um, nowadays the, the library has a much broader uh, meaning. For example, um, it's not only reading books like all the days, it's about having a, a, books, uh, a book club, having a movie night, or doing esports streaming, or maybe learning something in a workshop like programming or how to do a podcast. And this is why we need to change that and to make it a place where everybody belongs. So, and also the teenagers, because unfortunately today it's like the teenagers feel like imposters in their own environment where they're supposed to feel like they belong to. So this is why we rephrase our um, challenge and have a new point of view. So it's a more complex one, so bear with me. So we believe that providing more resources centered around the teenagers could lead to a higher awareness of Shista's library potential for the youth and accommodates their need for studying, reading, and most importantly, engaging in activities that they're offering. Within, uh, within the next process, we are creating our concept and ideas and prototypes. To create them, we always keep three things into our mind as uh, to consider them. First is the feedback we get from different professionals, as challenge giver as well as terms. Second is this uh, concept or prototype target the core problems. And the third is it feasible. Uh, so, we first uh, two idea is uh, focus on communication, improve communication between the youth and the library. The first uh, one idea is within the library. The visual signs and uh, po uh, uh, posters uh, try to uh, try to remind the people the youth section is an explicit section function for only ten ages. We present uh, this idea and uh, we test the prototype within the Shista library and uh, the challenge giver gave us very precious opinion. Uh, 
So this idea is very easy to follow, uh, to follow down and it's uh, easy to uh, continue. However, this idea only focused on the people or teenagers who's already inside the library still do not reach the teenagers who's not current in the library. Uh, the second uh, communication idea is the open book. Open book is a huge book which contains the activities, uh, uh, book recommendations, as well as other workshops for the teenagers. And uh, people can, the visitors can interact with the open book, like uh, writing down their comments, drawing a picture to show what they want to see. We uh, created a prototype for the open book and we carried and placed it into Tunabana, the metro stations, uh, Shista Galleria, and the Shista Library. Uh, with, uh, it is uh, a good marketing tool to all the places, uh, and it could be eventually reach the teenagers, like Abby, who's not currently in use with the library. But however, continue this project and renewing it activities every month added extra workload to the librarians. Therefore, we uh, draw back from this uh, prototypes and uh, my friend Sarah will continue other. So our third idea is to do yourself activities for teenagers that would actively involve them in changing the design of the use section at Chester Library. From prototyping and testing, we have realized that the teenagers are way more active when they are given a creative tool to communicate. However, this idea does not tackle the core problem of raising awareness among teenagers who are currently not coming to the library. Our next idea is focusing on the librarians and how they can engage with teenagers better. It is about interactive workshops where the focus is on learning methods to encourage and engage teenagers in decision making. From testing, we noted, however, that this idea would still require a lot of work from the librarian. So don't get me wrong, it's not that these ideas are bad ideas, it's actually quite the reverse. But we wanted to go even further and have a solution that solves multiple aspects. So our resulting idea, and also the most promising one, is introducing a youth coordinator at the library. The idea is to have someone that works closely with the teenagers and improves their connection with the library. As we have mentioned, we want to change the team's perception of what a library is nowadays. And with the idea of a youth coordinator, we can exactly initiate a change here. So as Sarah mentioned, the youth coordinator is a person who is there for the teens to listen to their needs and wishes and to implement them at the library. It's someone that they can feel comfortable with and it's a bit between the librarians and the teens. It's also responsible for having a good stream of publicity, so keep them updated trying to solve the current uh, communication problem. At the same time, it's a way to minimize the current lack of stakeholder collaboration by visiting youth centers or schools and building a more close connection between them and Sista Library. Um, ideally, we imagine someone that can speak the most commonly spoken language in this area, for example, Swedish, English, and Arabic. And most of the time, it would be in the youth phones, trying to interact with the team, playing board games, making surveys, and mainly trying to listen to their ideas. So the difference between a youth librarian and a youth coordinator is that the youth librarian is there more for general customers or visitors at the library and has even a tool related and more administrative workload. But the youth coordinator is someone that is 100% a resource for the team and also they can work together but with autonomy and independence. The youth librarian is not responsible for monitoring the performance of the youth coordinator but can of course support them and at the same time they could have for example a routine of weekly meetings with the goals and then see how the process is going. The main difference between them two is the outreach work. The youth coordinator is proactive. He knows the teens are not going to the library, so he takes the library to the teens. The next one. 
and we test this idea with a workshop with the librarians. And during this session, we could see and hear, hear like feedback from them to see how he, they can integrate a role like this into the work environment and who could be a suitable candidate to fit this role. We also did a role play with the teams at the library. And from this uh, meeting, we realized how important it is to have someone proactive. The teams have a lot to say, they don't start the conversation. So by having, for example, different ways of communication, they can choose if they want to have an open conversation to answer a survey or to write their comments in an anonymous box. And the last comment related to this testing session is that the most young teenagers, around 13 years old, they were the most excited about this idea and they wanted to be informed if it's going to be implemented. Okay, so to sum up a little bit, we think that the, the youth coordinator can provide a lot of value for all the personas that we have identified. For the librarian, um, it can be a help to re redefine the, the perception of the library from this boring place, it's only a physical building where you can only read, to a place that have a, a multiple activities, workshops, book clubs, and so on. And also that the library can be brought to where the teenagers are outside the library. So can the uh, youth coordinator can help with the outreach work and uh, can also, of course, help to reach or research the, the needs and interests of, of, of youth. And also like adopt the library's offer to the interests and needs. And for Lara, um, that is, uh, uh, the teenager who comes to the library but only to study and, and read. For her, the, the new coordinator can build a personal relationship to really feel her, make her feel welcome and can inform her about all the activities that goes on in the library and also encourage her to share her ideas of what she would like to see more of at the library. And also co-create activities. Uh, that is has been something that has been going on in the library that the, the teenagers have been active in actually uh, creating activities at the library with the help of librarians so activities by teenagers for teenagers and we think that's an important idea that we can build on and last but not least I bet the teenager doesn't come regularly to the library we really think that the youth coordinator can be an important part to bring the library outside the physical building and to where Abbe and his friends are and also to uh, uh, maybe organize activities outside the library in collaboration with other stakeholders so they can uh, see that the library is a fun place and maybe uh, start to come there but also build a relationship a personal relationship and engage Abbe and his friends in a dialogue about what they would like to see more of in the library. Yeah. And you wanna add? Yeah. Yeah. So thank you very much for listening. I hope you got a little insight of what we've been up to the last five months. Of course, in like 15, 20 minutes, you can't put everything in it that we've done the five um, five months. So if you're interested in like uh, more of like the other ideas of the youth coordinator or how we came to this, please feel free, of course, to read the report we've written. So and if you have any questions. Of course, feel free to ask and we're happy to answer them. Thank you for listening. <laughs>